What's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are back on NHL 21 once again and we'll be simming the career of Toronto Maple Leafs young forward Nick Robertson. Robertson made his NHL debut this summer in the bubble at just 18 years old with the Leafs as they took on the Columbus Blue Jackets in the play-in round and managed to score a goal which remains his only point in the NHL. Prior to this summer, Robertson spent three seasons with the Peterborough Peets and in 162 games he scored 97 goals and 77 assists for 174 points. As of the time I am recording this, Robertson has turned 19 years old which is is the same age as me which makes me feel like a complete loser and is looking to lock up a roster spot with the Leafs whenever the next season begins. As always in these videos we will be simulating year by year throughout the duration of Nick Robertson's career and checking in on his stats as well as if he wins any awards. I will be controlling a different team and having it so that the CPU controls everything so the entire simulation will be completely computer automated. Now with all this being said, let's get into the simulation. So in this sim, Nick Robertson doesn't crack the Leafs lineup and will start the year in the minors with the Toronto Marlies. Because of this, we're just going to sim the year and see if he makes the roster for the 2021-2022 season. In the year we simulated, the Leafs made the playoffs and lost in the first round in a game 7, this time to the eventual Stanley Cup champions, the Tampa Bay Lightning, who are back-to-back -back winners in this universe. Lafreniere takes home the call there and at the beginning of the next season the Leafs again send Robertson to the minors he's now at 78 overall and hopefully just one more year with the Marlies can polish his game enough to be a full-time NHLer so in the second year with Robertson in the minors the Leafs win a playoff round but run into Tampa once again who take them out on their way to their third straight Stanley Cup Lucas Raymond of the Red Wings wins the Calder Trophy and Nick Robertson finally makes the Toronto Maple Leafs lineup for the 2022-2023 season so heading into the first year of his NHL career Nick Robertson is starting off on the fourth line at Center playing between Thomas Jerko and a name I'm not even going to try to pronounce. Robertson is 79 overall and currently has medium top six potential. His stats to start his NHL career include 88 speed, 87 shot power, 87 deking, and 85 offensive awareness. He doesn't have stats like Lafreniere, Byfield, or Stutzel to start off, but that's obviously because he's not expected to be a player of that caliber. But regardless, I think this video will hopefully be fun and let's see if he can win the call there in his rookie year. In his first season in the NHL, Nick Robertson helps the Leafs finish third in the NHL and win the Atlantic Division. The playoffs were not too great sadly and in the first round they lost in seven games to the Ottawa Senators. Also, the Lightning take home their fourth straight Stanley Cup and become the first team to do this since the New York Islanders. Nick Robertson had himself a very solid season scoring 13 goals and 34 assists for 47 points in the regular season and in the playoffs added three points. He increases up to an 83 overall but sadly it is Alexander Holtz who wins the Calder as the league's best rookie. The Leafs again with another great regular season, as in this one they finished 7th in the NHL and again made the playoffs. In them they went on a nice run all the way to the cup finals that saw them lose to the Avs, but along the way they ended the Tampa Bay Lightning's cup streak. Very respectable season for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Nick Robertson's sophomore season was a shortened one due to injury that saw him score 17 goals and 36 assists for 53 points in 68 games. In the playoffs he was very solid too, scoring 6 goals and 10 assists for 16 points. With all this, he increases up to an 84 overall, and in the offseason signs a two-year deal with the Toronto Maple Leafs worth $5.1 million per year. The Toronto Maple Leafs get absolutely screwed in year number three as they finished 11th in the NHL and still missed out on the playoffs after the departure of Austin Matthews. Nick Robertson had another decent season, but he ended up putting up less points in more games this season as he scored 18 goals and 25 assists for 43 points. With this, Robertson remains at 84 overall as he heads into the final year of his current deal. After missing the playoffs last year, the Maple Leafs come back the following season and take home the President's Trophy as the league's best team. Despite this amazing regular season, they fell early in the playoffs to the Canadians in the first round. Robertson played almost the entire regular season and racked up 17 goals and 29 assists for 46 points and in the playoffs was awful not recording a single point and was a minus 5. Robertson remains 84 overall and in the offseason signs a one-year $5.1 million deal with the Toronto Maple Leafs. For the second straight year, the Leafs made the playoffs, this time after finishing 11th in the NHL. They did get out of the first round this year, but fall in the second round to the Columbus Blue Jackets in 7 games. Robertson in 76 games scored 17 goals and 24 assists for 41 points and in the playoffs only appeared in 3 games and had 1 assist. Robertson remains at 84 overall and signs an identical 1 year $5.1 million deal once again with Toronto. Toronto continues to be a dominant regular season team as they finished 6th in the NHL and ended up in the playoffs once again. 
For the second straight year, they are taken out in the second round though, this time to the Florida Panthers in just four games. Robertson once again with a similar season to his prior one as he scored 19 goals and 28 assists for 47 regular season points. In the playoffs, he showed up for the Leafs as one of the top scorers, putting up 9 points in 11 games. Again, he stays put at 84 overall, and in the offseason, he moves on from Toronto and signs a two-year deal with the Nashville Predators worth $4.8 million per year. In his first year with the Preds, Nick Robertson helped them finish 8th in the NHL and make the playoffs. In them, the Preds fell one game short of the conference finals to the Colorado Avalanche as they were taken out in 7 games in the second round. Nick Robertson's production remained pretty much the same with Nashville as he scored 14 goals and 36 assists for 50 points. In the playoffs, he added 3 assists and again stayed put at 84 overall. For the second straight year, the Nashville Predators finished 8th in the NHL and made the playoffs once again. The playoffs are heartbreaking though as they go all the way to the Stanley Cup Finals but end up getting swept by the Detroit Red Wings. Two times now Nick Robertson has lost in a Cup Final. Speaking of Nick Robertson, he had his worst season of his career as he scored just 6 goals and 16 assists for 22 points and in the playoffs had just 5 points in 17 games. He drops all the way to an 80 overall and in the offseason signs a 1 year $1 million deal with the New Jersey Devils organization. Nick Robertson joined a struggling New Jersey Devils team and that continues to be the case in year 9 as they finished 21st in the NHL. Obviously they did not make the playoffs, Nick Robertson played in 78 games and put up just 28 points after scoring 8 goals and 20 assists. He increases up to an 81 overall and in the offseason re-signs with the Devils on a 3 year $6 million deal. Year 10 sees the New Jersey Devils making the playoffs after having a solid season finishing 8th in the league. They met with the Florida Panthers in the first round and sadly lose to them in 6 games. Nick Robertson's regular season saw him score 3 goals and 18 assists for 21 points and his playoff run was pretty good as he potted a goal and 2 assists for 3 points. Robertson drops back down to an 80 overall. So 10 years into his NHL career now, Nick Robertson has played in 789 NHL games, scored 132 goals and 266 assists for 398 career points. He has played for 3 different NHL teams already and has had 2 finals appearances with the Leafs and Predators. Sadly, the sim has been pretty bad to him and he is already a very low 80 overall and bottom 6 forward. Obviously, he hasn't and won't put up any massive seasons, but let's just sim the rest of his career and see if he could somehow find his way on a cup winning team. Also, leave in the comments who you guys want to see next because we need to have an absolute stud for the next video because this sim has sadly been pretty disappointing. The Devils have a huge regular season, finishing as the league's second best team and winning the Metropolitan Division. The playoffs are more of the same though sadly as they lose in the first round to the Philadelphia Flyers. Nick Robertson kept his normal pace of scoring with 9 goals and 17 assists for 26 points and in the playoffs was nothing but a minus 2. He increases up to an 81 overall as he heads into the final year of his current deal. For the third straight year, the Devils are in the playoffs after finishing 5th in the NHL. The playoffs see them knock out the Sabres but lose to Florida in the second round. Nick Robertson in the final year of his current deal absolutely explodes for 4 goals and 22 assists for 26 points. In the playoffs, he wasn't as great but still tore it up, putting up 1 assist in 14 games. Robertson remains at 81 overall and in the offseason, the Devils lock up their all-star for 2 more years. New Jersey falls off a bit in the league standings in year number 13, but they make the playoffs and end up going all the way and winning the Stanley Cup. That's right, Nick Robertson is a Stanley Cup champion, and speaking of the Cup champ, this regular season saw him step it up a little bit compared to other seasons, as he scored 5 goals and 30 assists for 35 points. Sadly, he did get injured at the end of the regular season, and he didn't even get to suit up for one playoff game. Regardless, he played enough regular season games, and this 81 overall Nick Robertson will have his name on Lord Stanley. After winning the Stanley Cup, the New Jersey Devils follow it up with a 15th place finish in the NHL and get the chance to defend their cup in the postseason. In the playoffs, they make it out of the first round but fall to the Leafs in the second round. Nick Robertson put up 8 goals and 28 assists in the regular season and in the playoffs had 4 points. Robertson remains at 81 overall and in the offseason signs a 1 year $2 million deal and stays with the New Jersey Devils. The Devils have a huge regular season finishing 2nd in the league and back in the playoffs. 
In the postseason, they fall in the second round to the New York Rangers. Robertson suffered a long-term injury this season and only appeared in 33 games. In them, he had 5 goals and 15 assists for 20 points in the regular season and didn't appear in the playoffs. Nick Robertson drops all the way down to a 75 overall and decides to call it a career and retire. So in 1,145 NHL games, Nick Robertson scored 163 goals and 378 assists for 541 career points. Overall, compared to other guys we've done, yeah, this is nothing like their numbers, but at the end of the day, he was good enough to get over 1,000 games played and over 500 points. Also, on top of this, he did win a Stanley Cup with the New Jersey Devils. He's not a Hall of Famer, but I wouldn't say it was a bad career. With all of this though, I would like the next video to be a much better simulation, so leave who you guys would like to see next. I was thinking maybe Rasmus Dahlin or Quinton Byfield for the next one. I don't know yet, might be putting up a poll and letting you guys vote for what you want to see. Anyway, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. We're closing in on 8,000 subscribers, which blows my mind, so thank you so much for that. I'm not too sure what the next video will be with finals coming up for me, but once I'm done, expect some more videos more consistently. I know I suck when it comes to that, and I'm sorry, but hopefully that could change within the next few weeks. Also, want to get into different types of NHL videos, so if you have any ideas, please let me know. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.